Hello crafters, Kaz back with um, another vid and uh, this is a stick pin card and box and a stick pin holder that I made for Janet uh, Stokes which is I think it's uh, Jan Stock 80, I believe, on YouTube. Um, you know, so check her out. Um, but this is something that um, I promised that I would do. Um, she said that she liked my stick pin cards um, and that. So I said that um, I would make one uh, for her. And um, so this is basically what I've come up with. This is a um, 6x6 um, card and um, literally I've made the box out of just white card and then uh, what I did I just um, inked just around the edge there and then added this um, lace trim that I had and um, I've threaded this uh, ribbon through it and um, I took that all the way around the box and then the ribbon um, that was left I've uh, triple bowed did a triple bow here um, on the back of the box um, so it's a little different and then on the um, top of the box I've added some uh, paper line out of um, a first edition pad which was called um, Love Letters um, so the first sort of paper line that I've used is this uh, oh, is this spotty one here <clears throat> and um, I've put that one on um, first and it is double sided um, as you can see and literally I've just rolled over the corners I've then added some um, mirror card on there and uh, the mirror card I know you can't really see it but it does um, have a pattern on it um, this is a piece already um, but as you can see it has got this pattern on it but you um, can't really tell on the box um, but I put that one behind and then again using the um, love letter pad oop, I've used um, that one on the top and then I've had some a some uh, paper line left from Making Memories, which is this. Um, so I die cut a cameo um, surround and um, added this cameo on. Now this cameo is is um, I think I believe it's a, a hunky dory one, um, which I had in my stash. So I added that to the front. And um, and then I've added these um, peel off corners, so I've um, you've got two sort of corners here, as you can see, and I've put those around the box. So that's the box, and then inside um, this is the card that I've done. I'll just take that out a moment. Um, I don't know whether I said, but the box I've made, it, it is a 6x6 box. And um, again, this is the card. It's all been made out of the um, Love Letter stack. Um, this is a bigger cameo um, that I've used. Um, not too sure if I am right of that it was a hunky dory um, 
paper. I believe it's it is, but I'm not I'm not too sure now when I think about it. So bear with me two shakes. I'll just check. Uh, yes, it is a um, hunky dory um, topper, and um, basically it are they are um, these that I have on here, and these are some that I had um, in my stash, and as you can see, they are hunky dory. Um, so. <clears throat> Um, that's what I've used on the top, and then I add some um, uh, paper lines from from the stack itself, which I've used, um, which you can see because the card will tilt up. So on the back there, um, I've used the dotty one. So um, that will be that one, and also on the back of that. Um, I've used this one here um, so you can see that that's on the back and then um, on the um, the front here again I've used this Miri board card and um, the paper line that I've used for that one is this one on the top and again I've added one of these cameos and I've put some um, a pearl bead spray all the way around um, there and I've just put some of these sparkly um, peel offs and again the corners on the card so that's the front of the card and then when you open it up I have um, again as you can see I've used all the paper lines again so it's going all the way through the book um, so I've used the dotty one and the other one again <clears throat> and then using the mirror board um, I've put um, this on as the holder made this into the holder and I've gone all around and scalloped edged every piece of card I put another little tiny cameo there, and um, you can't see it. I've got a big stick pin in the middle, but um, it, I've done a sign there that says "just for you." Um, just put a couple of little blingy bits on the edge there, and these were the um, stick pins um, that I've made, and these are all like beads. Um, from out my stash. That one has got one of the flower tips. It's a pearl bead pin and then I put that in the middle of a flower and then added bead caps and beads onto it. Um, this is just a plain quite simple um, one. This is using again some three sizes and this is the that's the head of the actual pin itself and using lots of um, bead caps and things um, these are the ones that I came up with um, that one again as you can see has got a rose on it which I've pushed through a pin using the beads I just run over them with you and again there's another one there with a flower again with a um, pearl bead pin in just to give you um, sorry turn it round the other way so you can see them better rather than upside down um, just give you an idea of some of the pins that I've done so I've done there's actually nine pins in the card and then uh, the card actually does um, fold up and then just use that there as the stand so that is my stick pin card and the matching box and also I made the stick pin 
um, bowl. Um, and basically this was, I think this was just like, um, it's just a dessert bowl to be honest. Um, there was nothing, just something that I found in um, a second hand shop. And uh, basically what I've done obviously is to fill it, fill it up with um, some um, stuffing which I got out of the out of the inside actually of a old um, I think it's a cushion I think I had which um, I'd never used so I used the stuffing out of it and um, I used this um, <coughs> excuse me the chenille material I've uh, then gone around in this pink peachy lace um, all around the top of the bowl and uh, around the stick pin cushion itself I've used this um, deep wine uh, rosette trim and I've added these little uh, beads in um, all around as you can see them in there um, but that's the pearl trim and then the la you've got the lace going around and then over the bowl itself I use this um, white rosette trim and covered all the bowl in it and then around the top I've added this pink rosette trim and these um, crystal flowers Oh, excuse me, which I also had in my stash, and that's going around there. And then I had like um, it's like a circle of material, and um, it's got all these gold thread all through it. I've put that over the foot of the bowl and tied it round with some um, ribbon using pink and wine ribbon. And tied that round, and then added some uh, foam roses, which I inked over, and then some um, wine-coloured roses from. These are all from Wild Orchid Crafts, and as you can see, that is my flower display going around. Um, so that is my um, stick pin holder, uh, which I hope uh, hopes you will like. It looks like a big um, Knickerbocker glory type thing. Uh, that's what it reminds me of. Uh, but that's my stick pin holder. And the um, card and matching box. Um, hope you like it. Um, please leave a comment um, because your comments are important to me um, as I like to know if my work um, is being appreciated out there by all you crafters uh, because that's basically where I do get my inspiration from um, is by watching your vids and uh, things like that. So thanks again anyway and hope to be back with you soon um, with another video so thanks bye